Well, I'm having a more pleasant day than most people get to enjoy. I've been working with the marvellous Mia Stanton this morning. Mia's giving a recital with a dear friend and colleague of ours, Alyssa Coppin, the flutist, and the master pianist, Edward Neiman. And uh, she's had to settle for me for her rehearsal pianist today. Thank you. Uh, Mia, I met you when you were tiny. I'm sure this is embarrassing for a young person when older people think of you as very little, but I remember when you were tiny and you just started music. You were doing piano studies yep. with Suzanne and then you were learning violin from the Marvelous Wolf. Yep. And then I didn't see much of you and then mm -hmm. you started playing in our concerts when you were perhaps a student at Sydney Con, I think. Yeah, yep. yep. What's happened since then? Because you've now come back to us as a very formed and uh, quite authoritative performer. Well, thank you for saying so. <laughs> Tell us about it's, that journey. Yeah, well, it's it's so wonderful to be back in Canberra this year um, and kind of exploring some music with yourself um, and also with the wonderful pianist Edward Neiman. Um, but I guess since we left, you know, our musical journey together whilst I was at Sydney Con, I've been studying at Anna. Right. Um, which is a fantastic place for you to kind of um, fly the coop, <laughs> I suppose one could say, in terms of your musical development. I might just elaborate on that. ANAM, for anyone who doesn't know, the Australian National Academy of Music in Melbourne is the federally funded, very elite place for developing musicians exactly. with largely international mm. staff. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah, and lots of international artists and... Um, they have their own audience base, so they've got, um, you're doing performances to real audiences and real people and you're kind of given uh, permission, one might say, to develop yourself as an artist and find your voice as who you are as a musician. When you played the Chrysler dances with me a few weeks ago, I thought it was marvellous the way you were able to carry the musical line mm. with such authority and keep the audience with you. And I think that's the mark of a great player, and I really do congratulate you. Mm. Now, let's talk about the concert <laughs> that's coming up. I heard you play, in fact, it was my doing, wasn't it? Because I introduced you to Edward. Yeah, absolutely. It was my doing. Thank you. So I heard you play a Mozart sonata with Edward a couple of months ago, and I thought it was the best performance I'd heard in Canberra in an age. And that's why I wanted you to repeat that mm -hmm. in my salon next week. So you're going to play the same Mozart sonata. Yep. What else? Um, I'll be playing a bit of the piece that you just heard, the Bartok Romanian folk dances. They're a lovely collection of um, folky type tunes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, we'll be playing a bit of Vivaldi. Um, That's as right. A double. Trio. Oh, yeah. That'll be fun. That will be very. Uh, fun. Do you know I'm writing you a little encore? Oh. A little tango. Okay. Yeah, silly little just tango, just to finish with, for all of you. I am wearing red for the occasion. Red for so. the occasion. <laughs> and it was you that introduced us to Alyssa Coppin. Yeah. Who's joined us for Opera by Candlelight several times, and she's become a favourite artist of ours, and much loved by the audience. Yep. So we thank you for that, and Alyssa is playing... Prokofiev Flute Sonata, probably the biggest and most ambitious work for the flute. It's marvellous tunes and passion and variety mm. all the way. And Edward is playing some Chopin. So next week when Alyssa arrives, we'll send out another video of all of you playing together. Excellent. Very much looking forward to this. Let's just play a bit more Bartok. Okay. <laughs>